Hey guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today we are talking about periods. I'm talking about abdominal cramps, headaches, being tired, bloated, and mood swings. Ladies, does that sound familiar to you? These are symptoms of our well-known, and yes, it's very annoying, our period. But what is happening? How can we decrease these symptoms? What foods can we eat to recreate a hormone balance? Stick around for an educational Neri's Kitchen as I give you a helpful guide on the foods to eat pre, during, and post period. Before we go on, please hit the like button and subscribe to our page. In video one of three, I will cover what's best to eat before your period, which is cycle day 20 to 30. This is a phase after ovulation has occurred and lasts until the first day of your period. During this phase, your estrogen drops and your progesterone levels rise. For your mind and body, this means that you'll likely have less energy and you'll feel the urge to slow down. You might even feel a bit foggy and sad. Cravings are strong and you'll feel hungrier more often during the day. During this luteal phase, it's actually more important to focus on foods to avoid rather than what to eat. So eat healthy fats. Your body needs fats to make the hormones fluctuate smoothly. Avocados, nuts, and olive oil are a good option for a healthy fat intake. Healthy fats will support your body in its progesterone production. Include fiber-rich fruits and nuts. Almonds, apples, dates, peaches, and pears to combat bloating and bowel irritability. Grains, quinoa, buckwheat, or brown rice can provide additional help with getting excess estrogen out of your body. And stay hydrated. Avoid sodas and sugary drinks and focus on enough water intake. I always like to make sure that I drink one cup of water before each meal to make sure I get my water for the day. Iron. Keeping your iron levels up can help keep your mood and your energy levels up. It can also help with brain fog. So make sure to include iron rich foods like nuts, beans, peas, red meat and lentils in your diet. Reduce your intake of caffeine as this decreases absorption of iron. Also reduce salt intake. Eliminate processed salty foods as much as possible because sodium increases water retention, which in turn makes you feel bloated. Now you know which foods and lifestyle choices can help you feel better during your period and keep the right ingredients on hand and stock up on healthy snacks. And please, if you haven't hit that like button, please do so now. And I will see you on the next Neri's Kitchen where I will cover what to eat during your period to keep your energy levels up. Bye for now.